Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and today I'm looking at a book from LexisNexis and Tolly, and it's a book many of you will know called Tolly's Capital Allowances, now for the year 2012 to 13, and it's actually now in its 25th edition. And it's been edited by Kevin Walton and David Smales. And there's a section on tax planning in this edition by John Endicott and a team at the Francis Clark Tax Consultancy Limited. This is the book here. It's not a particularly heavy book. There's the front cover, the spine, and you can see there's quite a lot of detail on the back. What you've got inside, you run to about 488 pages. There's the sort of final page. A little bit of publicity on the back. You've got the index there. Not a particularly big index, but it's useful for what you're, what you're really looking for. One thing I did find helpful right at the back is uh, when you, before you actually get to the, um, the actual end, you have a number of appendices, and there's a very useful one from Revenue and Customs, again, which tries to set out exactly where we are. And what you've got here are lists, in fact, in Appendix 1, of items which uh, can be qualified as plant or machinery, for instance. Very useful information. Now, when we come to the actual detail itself, you can see again, there's paragraph numbering at the sides, and the numbers coincide with the chapter numbers. And what you've got, of course, are footnotes there rather than at the bottom. A little bit disconcerting for some people, but at least you can find, for instance, there's another example there, you can actually find the reference to the particular statute if you're actually looking for it. But as I say, it's a fairly light book. What you have got again are Table of Statutes, which is there. Uh, very few cases, in fact. There's not very much. The beginning of the, the book sets out the background for capital allowances as we now have them, which again I think is quite useful for someone who's new to it. Um, abbreviations and references, extremely helpful, of course, as well. And then you've got the standard contents which you can see are structured there. So you should be able to find your way around it pretty easily. Do read about this book at the front. Always worth looking at to see what, in fact, the authors are actually trying to achieve. It's a very good book and very much part of the stable from Tollies. We've given it a title, Making the Best Tax Effective Use of Capital Investments. Then check out the new 25th edition of Tollies Capital Allowances, and that's exactly what you should do. If you're a lawyer or accountant or other variety of tax advisor, our view is this publication from Tolly's covers a subject area you've probably been crying out for in the past. In fact, Tolly's assures us that requests from tax practitioners for a reference book covering this specific area of revenue law was the catalyst that led originally to the publication of the book. Quote, there are few existing publications on the subject, says accountancy, and none are as current or as comprehensive as this. So, you know where you are. The fact that this volume is now in its 25th edition, therefore, tests to its enduring value and certainly its popularity. It's a single practical volume in under 500 pages and there's a wealth of information across uh, the board. Obviously, the Finance Act 2012 is very well covered. There are five chapters on plant and machinery allowances, including new material on the transition rules for reducing the rate of such allowances. Of course, there's a wide range of other relevant subject uh, matter also covered, from renovation of business premises to flat conversion and so on. The two contrib contributions here have come from also from experts, uh, John Endicott, is, for example, Tolly's Taxation uh, Tax Writer of the Year, and that's the two chapters really on tax planning that uh, he's covered. Let me say finally that do note the two appendices which I showed you, because one of them has the comprehensive list of what qualifies for plant and machinery, and th so for those who pay tax, particularly in business, or their professional advisors looking to advise them, the acquisition of this book, we should think, is should be regarded as a necessity. It's certainly extremely useful for the business that I'm involved in and the advice that I give. So thank you to the authors, Mr. Walton and Mr. Smales, and to uh, Tolly Lexis Nexis for an excellent publication. Bye-bye.